Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Bale Fire Blues. I'm your host, Red Eye Muckle Lover, and this is obviously the final episode of this campaign. It's 1243, and we're doing Flatlander Knowledge, and we're just kind of hanging out, having a good time. I've, we've got a few more divisions coming in to merge with the entire army, and it went bye-bye. Okay, then. And we got Flatlander Knowledge done. We're justifying other people because, well, frankly, this could be glitched. This might not be glitched, but we can do, I guess, not glitch anymore. A new unity. Very cool. So, the stage is set, and then play is made. At hours, as the hours tick down, the rest of the wasteland can do little more than hold its breath as Red Eye sought to ascend. So, long as everyone think, everything goes according to plan, there would soon be a new god to guide Equestria into a new age. Now, I did release... Did I release Nav Navarro? I guess I did release Navarro just to see if anything would happen if they were under us. So, they're here. They're having a good old time. And they're still led by... Sin now they're led, they used to be led by... Mr. Autumn Leaf, but now it's Senator Seafire. Very cool. Enclave Senator, Talon Division 4, how about we get Talon Division 5? So, they have unique focus tree, of course. Very, very cool. I decided to release them just because I wanted, like I said, I just wanted to see what would happen. Um, I guess I had this stuff completed, but not Seafire takes command. Okay, whatever. And they still have a lot of things to do down here, so it's really, really cool. Actually, is that non core pony power plus 0.5? Anything to the right? Not really, not too much. Great to see New Clouds Dale, eh? Ah, oh, very good. Now we got more talons, which is very good, because last time I might have killed off quite a few of my guys, but hey, whatever. Rose pie? Don't mind if, mind if we do. Thank you. Help put down some resistance. There's a lot of resistance over here, as you can tell. And I guess it's time to go to war, right? We love a little bit of conflict in our life. Maybe not. Actually, probably, probably really, realistically, not really. I think we'll do okay if we go ahead and attack. Now we could continue justifying on other people. Which we might, but we might not. Okay, we want to battle the new unity. Pain and agony are all that can be felt as several different minds and bodies melt into one. The process is not quick, not clean, and not at all pleasant. One of them struggles briefly, only to falter and give out. Of the other two, one thrashes and struggles, desperately resisting his oncoming ascension. This resistance only comes to an end at the intervention of the last, who set this all into motion. As the process continues, the minds all resist the process, all fighting one another to stay independent. These clashes go on for what to each of them seems like an eternity, however. One of them would falter and after a long struggle fall. The other two would quickly devour the fall before turning their attention back towards one another. One fought ferociously and like a horned, cornered beast, while the other sought any weakness or opportunity that could be exploited. The former would eventually find himself exhausted, which, would, which the latter took adva full advantage of to bring about his own victory. A tyrant, a slave, and a general all melded into one. We remember looking out over the smoke pillars of Philadelphia, seeing the suffering we had inflicted. We remember working down below, doing the work necessary to rebuild the world. We remember leading a vast army to conquer the world below. We are a visionary, a worker, and a leader. We are the ones to guide the world to rebuild the world and make it all of our own. All trouble before our might, what was once the world now, stand as the one. New unity has been formed and we have ascended. The future awaits. Oh, new unity. Well, I guess no unique thing, but that's okay. Let's see. I didn't release Navarro, Navarro but we'll see what happens. At first I thought that this was, this was the only part of the focus tree, but whatever. The last obstacle, gain war goal against them. Let's do the seas of Equestria. To the east lies Manhattan. Oh, uh, let's do this one. Maybe the, let's do this Heartlands first. Let's do this one first. So there's so much left to conquer within the central Equestrian Heartland. We shall deal with those who still defy our rule. Soon enough, the heart, entire Heartland will be ours. Feather brushes, talons, plains raiders, which we're already killing off. Feather brushes, talons. Very good. Uh, Pegasus resistance. It seems that the Pegasi aren't done yet. Though we've beaten them below the cloud layer, they continue to remain just defined above. Attacks on our patrols are common. Bombing runs against our settlements are a weekly occurrence, and even our control over Navarro itself is constantly being challenged by raids. We need to deal with these winged dudes one way or another before we can finally have a moment of restful peace. We have Old Appaloosa. Um, oh, I did... Oh, okay, yeah, I do have light here. Now, I did release them as a puppet just so that I could see what could happen. So, I mean, I'm going to say no, and actually, we're going to integrate them anyway, so... Here's what we're going to do. So, I did... Because, like, yesterday... Oh, they already built out roads. Wow. There we go. Let's do that. And then, boom, 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 boom. Really lowered their autonomy. Um, yeah, just to see if we could, like, get that focus down. For some reason, it was kind of glitched and such, maybe, in which we couldn't do it, but it's available, obviously. The final question. At last, our goals have been accomplished. Red Eyes ascended, and a new unity has been born. Rebuilding Equestria is at long last within a grasp. However, we're still not done yet. There still remains enemies to be conquered, still ruins to be rebuilt, and much work left for us. Work that would be much, made much, easy, much harder, actually, if not for our vast amount of slaves. A question now sits before us. Do we continue our practices of mass enslavement and forced labor? Or are we finally go along enough the path of rebuilding that we no longer require such unsavory methods? Service well, slave labor. Um, uh, edit service well. 
I'm gonna say it served us well, just because our entire land doctrine is literally based on slaves, isn't it? What's it? I mean, we have a literal slave army, a roaming slave army. So I don't think it makes too much sense for us to get rid of slavery for now. But maybe that's just me. We love slaves here. Okay, so at least we got some research done. Very nice. Well, we already have common weaponry. We must keep going down this way, right? Probably should, right? Probably. Dive bomb, don't mind if we do. Let's grab some free from free from free form close air support. You guys go to train. Anyone else that needs to train, go right ahead. And then we have we're about halfway done with this already. Nice. Very, very nice. Now occupy territories. Oh, I got enough rider gear to do that. Let's go ahead and grab some weapon entrenchment talismans. It's looking very, very nice. And I want to keep an eye on Oh these guys oh wow. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the autonomy is just dropping like no other. And which will I'll reintegrate them. I'll probably actually reintegrate Navarro Navarro as well, but that's alright. Equestrian Heartlands, the two Appaloosas. Uh, new Appaloosa and old Appaloosa have both proven themselves to be valuable trade, trade partners over the years. Unfortunately for them, we cannot allow their nations to continue to exist. They shall have to join a new Equestria or face the consequences of defiance. Alright, time to stop doing this and uh, have a good time. Three, two, uno. Let's go right on ahead. No, we're good, guys. Actually, yeah. Uh, and they're gone. Not bad if I do say so uh, myself. Thank you, Featherbrush Talons. At this point, I don't think anyone can really stop us too much. Maybe except for the Ministry of Arcane Sciences, but we must get to stable. 90. Not 49, not 94. 49. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need that. Talons divisions, very nice. Go and do some more of that. We need to lower their autonomy still. So here, have some anti-air guns. I know you could use these quite a bit, so there you go. And then once you're done with that, here's a lot of forts, because you can have forts. And then, Talon 6? Oh, and unicorns. I haven't even done that stuff yet, huh? If people start killing each other, so be it. The Dragon's Den? Why not? South the Southwest is home to all sorts of pathetic nations, insane unicorn supremacists, technophiliac, or technophilic scavengers, and republicans all dot the line alike. They shall be dealt with, and these ponies they control show in the light of unity. Hopefully we get an event with... Old Appaloosa here, or something like that. Now, these guys... Mystery Knight. No man power, pony power. Actually, they might... Yeah, they just got a little bit more. Okay. Alright, whatever. Rebuild the Sunrise Highways. Old Appaloosa formalizes ties. Word has come in, or word has come in from Old Appaloosa. They have agreed to take part in our working relationship to the next level by joining us fully. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Now we can no longer buy slaves, but we can slave Meroway. That's true. Hmm. Actually... Alright, so we can't do that because red bloody betrayal flag. Huh. Well, that sucks. Whatever. They had one division. Uh, not that one. Do we... Oh, do we not... Oh. We don't get cores on them. Um, Lightning scavengers form a core territories, huh? We're from close air support. Well, let's grab some dedicated equipment because we can. Dragon's Den. Let's grab some advanced tools. Basic infantry equipment, holy cow, so fast. The Azure Wave. Sure, why not? The monarchy of New Meroway, the cor corpro corporocracy of Neo Cattle, and the Republicans of Shattered Hoop. All of them have fallen before our might. All the Azure Way is ours, and soon all of Equestria shall follow. More soft attack? Don't mind if we do. We got a lot of soft attack. I love the soft attack. I love it soft. You guys go right ahead, and then you guys go right ahead, and then this part of the world is pretty much done and dealt with. We're doing a good amount of damage anywhere between 6-ish to 17-ish. Sometimes down all the way to 1.4, but at this point, I'm not really sure they'll be able to stand up to us. We've lost 5 guys versus 1,000, so... Weapon enchantment talismans? Why not? Magically augmented defense? Absolutely. Now this is nice. Ooh. Manor Rifle Territories? Sure. I'm not even looking where our ter rightfully demanded territories are. As long as we got whatever. I just want their lands, that's all. We're still building? Hopefully we are. Ah, stable 4-9. 9 Thank you, Ministry of Arcane Science. Sciences, I should really say. 
you guys head on up here. You guys might be able to take those guys out by yourself. Maybe. Because this one's going to be a little bit more of a struggle. Full gate. But we have enough armies here. Any other way in? Not really, except through that side. That I'm feeling pretty good about some of this. I'm going to put a lot of these fools down. No, thank you. The Azure Way. Very nice. <clears throat> in the cities of Equestria, to the east lies Manhattan, which was once one of the most prosperous cities in Equestria. To the west lies Kentrell, the former capital of the nation. Both are of great importance, not just from an economic perspective, but also symbolic one. These cities shall soon be ours. Can we get more doggos? Yes, please, yes. Oh, wow. Actually, for Raider Warbands. Oh, uh, it's time for doggerinos. Yes, please. Uh, no, we don't need this. We don't need this stuff. As nice as it may be to have them, we don't really need them. We've got doggos on these guys. Can we make the... Ah, uh, unlike Old World Blues, I forgot. It's because I'm so used to seeing it like this. Actually, can we make these guys 40 combat with? Yes, Old World Blues, you can not... Well, some divisions you can still make 40 combat with. No, we can't do that. That sucks. Whatever. But that's interesting. Yeah, actually. Hmm. This is very weird. I haven't done stuff like this in a very long time. Can we just make these massive infantry divisions? Supply might be very good for us, but... How many can I throw on here? That's a real question. We might be out of guns after this. And maybe a little bit of manpower, too. Oh, man. You know what? I'm, screw it. We're gonna make them... We're gonna make these guys huge! Heck! Oh, we need way more doggos. Actually, we've got more than enough guns. Anti-tank and doggos, huh? There we go. Oh, we're going to need some more circuitry. Talons. Get some unicorns, why not? Very nice. Oh, we need to build more stuff, huh? Oh, I thought I... Wow. Wow. I said I was going to do this off screen, my bad. I thought, I guess, uh, I didn't really pay attention to what I was doing too much. <laughs> so... Go and very good. Very very nice. Good enough for now. All right, let's keep building up stuff in the light territory, which we will annex as soon as we possibly can. Really, not looking too good, but whatever. Alright, so it should, shouldn't take too long to do that, right? Oh, no, 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 no. We'll have it done very, very soon. Thank you, Light. Thank you very much. Uh, so I've conquered population because we can. Force settlement. Eh, let's get another arms workshop. We don't need some more resources, but we're working on it. Let's grab some of this. Steam-powered extraction? Why not? And thank you, Light, for playing. I appreciate everything you've done for us. Not really, but whatever. There you go. Warrior equipment. Very good. Cities of Equestria. The Gilded Tower. Within the great city of Manhattan, one settlement in particular has proven itself to be different from the rest. Ten Pony Tower, once a simple hotel, has evolved into much more over the course of the last two centuries. They stand as a beacon of prosperity and civilization among a sea of bar barbarism. Of course, they've also pr proven time... Are also proven themselves more than willing to allow opponents to starve right outside their front door, while they also stay locked away in their luxurious tower. They shall be judged harshly for the crime of in action. Right through, don't mind if we do. So, who's on the docket? Mud, Rainers, Stable City, Canicorns. Who's over here? G Griffmark, Canterlot. What if we did that? Now they attack us. Could we attack them? Now we could force the attack and try it out. Oh, what are we missing? Anti tank rifles, that's fine. Uh, also, which reminds me, you're up next, guys. You are up next. Eh, we can keep doing those. I don't really care. I'll be honest with you. Doesn't really matter to me. There you go. Put them down. Actually, we already did that. Put them down. Put them down, 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 down. Nope. Nope. Can't do that stuff. Is there anything else we could do here for them? Not really, no. We might have to come up with other means to lower their autonomy. Advanced tools. Let's get some of that. That's very nice. Get some more extraction, because we can. Mage companies are very nice as well. And we shall grab... Anything else here? No. Magical Harmony? Well, we can get some armor, because we can. 
the Gilded Tower, demand our rifle territories. Might as well. We'll demand all of our rifle territories. The Gilded Tower. The Great is contingent. The main hand steel rangers now stand as their main opposition within the city. They mistakenly believe that their power armor bunkers will be enough to keep them safe from us. Little do they know that they stand against the tides of fate itself. The outcome of our war with them has already been decided, even if they don't realize it yet. Actually, with you guys, I I did release you guys, but let's see. Start limb lease. We'll give you 2,000 of this. And we'll give you 30,000 of this. Very nice. And should be able to lower their stuff, their autonomy very soon. You guys looking not too bad. You're kind of looking okay, actually. Go right ahead. Now, you guys are still training, which is fine with me. Totally fine. Whatever. Good. Thank you, Glyphmark. Thank you very much. N more divisions. Don't mind if we do. No, we're good. And can we go to war with these guys? Yes. Oh, do we go to war with someone else as well? Who are we at war with? These guys? Oh, well, you're not on the line yet. Don't stop training then. It's fine, whatever. Subjects. Thank you. So fast. This mod is so fast. Do you have an upgrade, Marble Bones? Local leader? Sure, why not? You guys do take a while to get over there, but whatever. Alright, well then, the city that never sleeps. The great cities of the old world are now ours. We shall transform them just as we did with Philadelphia until we, they have all been entirely rebuilt. The ivory towers of Canelot and the steel towers of Main Hand shall soon stand tall and proud once more. Absolutely. Oh, we got a support here. Are you kidding me? Alright, so, who's down here, you guys? I'm going to have all you guys just kind of help out down here first. And here we go. Nope, no longer encircled. That is good. You guys are doing a pretty good job yourself. And the Royal Palace will be ours. Thank you, Canterlot Alicorns. Three, two, one. Here we go. Might not be... Ah, eh, we do eventually win over there. That's pretty nice as well. Very good. Beautiful. Stable city. You guys are next. Three. I'm not even paying attention to the war in the... the um, over here. The east. Good, good, good. Uh, up here. Stable 32 must be ours. I'm going to put you guys kind of in the center-ish. Uh, center eastern portion. Portion? Portion. Take them out. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens. Good luck, guys. Oh, Red Wings, Talons, anything else around here? Uh, let's see. What do, Can we modify the Lend-Lease? We've already did the Lend-Lease once. Uh, planes. Eh. Would you like another 30,000 pieces of equipment? There you go. Steam powered extraction, don't mind if we do. Get some electrical extraction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Add on up, you'll do great. Black Claw, anything else? No, you're level 7 though, that's pretty good. The city that never sleeps, awesome. And Earth Pony Ingenuity. Next up, I guess technically we could do the last obstacle. When the world came to an end, the cowardly Pegasi fled into the skies above and steeled themselves off from the harsh reality below. For two centuries now, they sit, sat on the clouds and watched as the ponies of Equestria suffered and starved. It is time that we remind them that the surface still exists. And exists, it will. Alright, guys, you're making your way downtown over there. Oh, we are where are these guys as well. But, oh well, they're gone. We're looking pretty good, but unfortunately, I will have to be right back. My apologies about that, but let us continue with more military factories. Let's go. We got, oh god, we have another 25, 35 to put on? Wow. Oh, what do we need, actually? Well, we could use maybe more planes? We have enough circuitry for now. I suppose we could always use more crowd control gear. Cyberdog Arena is looking pretty good. Sure, why not? And if we need, we need to make any more stuff, there you go. And then you guys at the bottom. Pinky Pa Balloons, and I think it's time. Supposed to re annex Navarro. Thank you, Navarro. And I'm not even going to use your divisions. Thank you. Come again. 
Very nice. We're still at war with the Red Wing Talons, but I have a good feeling we'll deal with them soon enough. Alright, give our guys a couple days, because honestly, there's not really much, not many more people left. Which is totally fine. Totally. Totally fine. Go and do that. We got some sound wave extraction. Very cool. Let's go ahead and grab some military construction, because we can. Follow it up with some resource production. Um, that sounds pretty good to me. Rook, rook, rook. And instead of conquer populations, arms workshop. We don't really need that. Honestly, we don't really need that much more, actually. We're still trying to finish off the thing in the light, but hey, that's alright with us. Now we can go to war with whom? A lot of people. Very, very, very good. And we'll go to war as soon as our soldiers get on the line and get a little bit more max planning. Shield magic focus. Very nice. Look at all these areas that need to be built. Cool. Let's go do that. And... Fire magic training. Awesome. The last obstacle. Who do we have? So, we gotta do the stuff on the right side, but I wanna get through this side first. The Lost Tribe, welcome our lost friends. Unthinkable option, what comes around, or what goes around. Control the skies, Unity Pony. Ooh. Hmm. Well then. I kinda wanna go with the Lost Tribe, see what happens. Though their forefathers turned their backs on a question, we should not judge their current generation for the crimes of their ancestors. We will forget our differences and welcome the Pegasi back into Equestria with open hooves. Sure. Why not? And where are you all? Oh, you're still over there? Wow. Uh, I'd recommend getting over here to Mudberg. But I have a good feeling it won't probably even matter. Wow. This is just kind of nuts, just looking at everyone just swarm. Wow. It feels like I'm not even playing anymore. It feels like I'm just, like, acting like, to a degree, Drew Durnell, and just watching, like, people go at each other. The Lost Tribe. Welcome our lost friends. So long ago, the Pegasi abandoned Equestria during its darkest, darkest hour. They closed up the skies and let the ground-bound brethren to die today. They have been forcibly made a part of our new unity. We could very well bring them to justice for the crimes of their forefathers, however, we won't. Though the Pegasi had once turned their backs on us, we would not do the same to them. Where they had shown us indifference and hatred, we would show them respect and kindness. Every Pegasus within our domain would be treated as a pony rather than a traitor, and in effort, every effort would be made to reconcile with them. It was time to forgive their past crimes so we could move forward into the bright future. The Pegasi are ponies too. Ooh, Pegasus resistance. So that one is looking pretty bad. Daily compliance is going down, but we fix it. Beginning integration, huh? Oh, we get more weekly stability. That's kind of nice. And the unity of ponies. We need all three tribes working together if you, in unity if we wish to recreate a better world. The Pegasi, Unicorns, and Earth Ponies shall do all their parts toward restoring our great nation. Don't mind the slavery, though. We keep you all over here first. Maybe you all can do pretty well. Resource production. We can grab some of this, too. Basic generators. Thank you very much. You guys are almost all on the line, and there you go. Mudbug is ours. Thank you, Mudbug. Please don't ever raid me again, but they probably will. There you go. And let's head on in, my friends. Head on in. So where were these guys to? The North Sunrise. The Rain Raiders. Very good. Anything over here? Uh, radar? Sure, why not? And land auction, of course, we are finished. Robotics, that gets some automation. Delightful. Diplomatic training, because we can. And there goes the Rain Raiders. Wait, well, yeah, I'm just going to take it all, just because where we're going, it won't matter too much. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Empire, the Equestrian Unity. Today will be a cloudy day with a scheduled rain shower at noon. Tomorrow will be a bright and sunny, much to the joy of our ponies. The next shipment of food to New Clouds Dale is due next week, providing shipment or payment for the next month of their continued services. Relations are going very, growing or very, very slowly warming between us and them, though many here on the ground will still view their winged brethren with contempt. All things considered, things have been going very, very well towards the goal of tribal unification. Sure, not every pony gets along today, and they wouldn't get along tomorrow either, but nor the next day. Indeed. It could take generations before the third tribe has fully been reunited with the Equestria, yet it will be done, as we already are well down the path towards this goal. The three tribes shall live and work in unity once more. Oh, look at that! We lose the weekly war sport, but we get more day more war sport stability and recruitable population factor. Or re recruitable population, not the factor, just population. The homecoming. The third tribe has been dealt with, in one way or another. We now stand as the controllers of the sky and the occupiers of Navarro. 
Yes, 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 yes. Now, getting over here is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Not going to lie. Ah, uh, Red Wings Talons. Thank you for playing. Put all y'all near the rainy banks. But you guys, right there. There you go. It's going to go to war with these guys. That'll be good enough. Thank you. And let's go. Looking very good. You guys, let's go. Wee. Diplomatic training. Suicide pills. Oh, and you guys go, just go up there. There you go. That's a lot of divisions right there. Raider Warband, if you could cut these guys off, that'd be delightful. Thank you very much. And those, all those divisions died. Marlum? Merlum. I was thinking Harlem. Very good. You guys, head on over here and see what we can do. Right. Wow, Friendship City. Oh. I think we might want Friendship City. Friendship sounds nice. And then you guys head on right, well, somewhere here. Any more divisions? Yes, please. There you go. Brick housing. Basic smell trees, because we can. The DJ. Homages, thoughts, and feelings were both a complete mess. As she stared at the banners and soldiers of the so-called New Unity below, all she could think was how, about, how it got to this point. Perhaps if she had only fought harder, but done more. But she had, and others had. Ponies, inspired by her words, had gone out and given their lives for the good fight. A fight that was, at the end of the day, completely pointless. A fight that had been lost. She knew it would only be a matter of time before the new owners of Ten Pony Tower began looking into the identity of the DJ Pwn 3. That had caused so much trouble for them. From there, it would only be a matter of time before they caught her and dealt with her as they saw fit. She wouldn't give them the satisfaction as the ground grew closer. Her last thoughts would be of her own failures. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a way of telling you that the person's not coming back? Oh, man. Friendship City. Ah, oh, Queen Seas. Do you have a unique focus tree? No, you don't. That's alright. You will have a place just like all the rest of them. Suicide pills? Yep. Plastic explosives. Very good. Now, you keep attacking them, they'll, they'll no way if they can retreat. So whenever they lose organization, well, that's it for them. Ah, this place has power armor, too. It's fine with me. Fine with us. And we're almost done with conquering everyone here and reuniting Equestria. A beautiful thing, I should say. Only 37,000 pony power. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, do we own this too? Oh, we do! Because I believe that we did take over um, all that territory when we beat Navarro or something like that. I think it was Navarro, perhaps. The homecoming. And next up, we shall do the end. The end of an era. Uh, let's do that when we do some other focuses first. The strong will lead. The strong will always rise to the top while the weak shall be trotted un on under hoof. This is a simple truth of the wasteland. We can apply to truth to our armies both by promoting only those ponies who have proven themselves stronger than their peers. As an added bonus, our ranks will be far more inclined to respect a pony who has proven themselves over one who has not. Absolutely. Rebuild the Sunrise Highways. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead and... Awesome. Fire magic training. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Uncover forbidden magic. Ooh, it's forbidden. I kind of like the forbidden part. Good, good, good. Let's grab some of this. This should be pet boys, and very nice. Well, time to go. Not bad. Not bad. I guess they could come over. Oh! They're over here too, huh? Manhattan Contingent. Oh. Very odd, but sure, why not? Hortoof. That's very weird. I don't get all the score. Do I get any score? Oh, it's over there on the other side. Okay, that's very, very weird. Is this the last place on Earth? Or I guess Equus? Where we have to take him out? I guess. Better radar. Let's get even some better radar. Secrets of the Old World with the fall of the main Hatton Steel Rangers. Our control over the region should be all but assured. Perhaps even more importantly, our control over their stockpile equipment is also assured. Power armor, advanced weaponry, and all sorts of fun technology that they were hoarding for themselves. There's even a stable full of all sorts of air tech within Buckland Cross. What a find! 
Ooh. All right, so let's get the research going. So get some scrap bots because we can, and air stuff. Well, I guess we can get some motorized flight because we can. You guys go and do that. You guys are doing really well with that stuff. This, only the strong will lead can openers. There will likely come a time in the near future when we will be expected to fight against power-armored enemies, whether it be the steel rangers to the south or the enclave descending from above. When this time comes, we will need to be prepared, and we fear that our anti-machine rivals simply won't cut it. Towards its end, we will be restoring an old equestrian heavy weaponry for dealing with these foes. Cool. I just want to get through all the focuses before we end the, the campaign. And to get through all the focuses, I just want to get through all enemies too so so in the meantime because it because this mod just runs so fast right now I have no issues with just kind of waiting it out a little bit and we're done making soldiers at least these soldiers basic smell trees psychological warfare cool basic smell trees let's grab the gents generators because we can and then maybe we'll grab some biplane fighters not bad not bad and after this one, we'll probably do restart Equestrian Army Today magazine. During the war, the Ministry of Image was responsible for printing a magazine that showed off the latest military technology and idolized Equestria soldiers. More importantly, this magazine also went into depth regarding the military's training and tactics. By publishing and distributing our own version of it, we can help ensure that our training is standardized. Very good. And... Embrace Dark Magic. Dark Magic Attack. That's a move by Dark Magician in Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Alright, let's get rid of some of these thingies. Wow, there's a lot of things here. I suppose I could have used some of this, but... I apologize for all the clicking. I just don't like seeing that stuff. There you go. Thank you. Protectrons, because we can. Over here, let's come to this. I haven't even finished all this stuff yet. Cooling jackets, why not? And then weapons of war. Guns are crucial to our efforts. Without them, our army would be near entirely incapable of dealing with a smaller enemy nation surrounding us. But providing your soldiers with even better guns, we can ensure that they are ready to deal with any force that may stand against us. Very good. Very, very good. Wow, we already hit 2,000 pony power. That is... That is crazy. I almost never hit that much. Actually, I don't remember the last time I actually did hit that much, so... You get more population, biplane fighters, triplane attackers, because we can. And we'll be done with this very soon. Ten days, we got some more time. Cooling jackets, and we'll go with vital targeting. That'll be good. And, wow, look at all that manpower, the pony power that we have right now. Oh, are, are we fully trained with these guys? I guess we are, wow. Embrace direct magic, weapons of war. War on Wheels. During the Great War, the Equestrian Zebraica alike both utilized motor vehicles to great effort. We believe that we could do the same now, perhaps even to greater effect. Very good. Grab some maximum magical saturation. Holy! Breakthrough and soft attack goes up by 75%. That looks really, really good. Thruster engines, why not? Now you guys come over here. Now, can we make these guys any bigger? Because we made these guys, well, we didn't even make them 40 combat with yet. This is... Okay, so that's interesting. This is per perfectly 40 combat with division. There are 5 by 5, so it's 25 battalions of infantry. Wow. That is thick. That is ridiculously thick, and I love it. And of course, we don't have enough equipment. Now we've only 53,000 soldiers, but that's okay. 18 days, 17, 16. Good enough. Cool, and let's go ahead and do Exterminate Parasprites. There are many buildings within the city that we simply can't scavenge due to the ongoing Parasprite infestation. This infestation has existed since even before the Great War, but has only grown exponentially more or worse over the last two centuries. To make matters even worse, these little buggers have picked up a taste for pony flesh over the years. We'll have to deal with them if we're going to have free reign over, over our own city. Nice. Let's go with lightweight metals, because we can. Even another division. Now, we only want three more, so... You know what, you can deploy them early... Get rid of that one, just because... Let's get up to 30. Advanced smell trees, not bad. Basic power plant. It is 1246. Hope you're having a great, great year. And then we shall do the radiation engine. One unfortunate byproduct of the bale fire used to destroy the world was arcane radiation, which still blankets the world to this very day. This radiation contaminates the ground, water, and air around us, killing any pony who suffers too much exposure. For centuries now, this has been nothing but a danger to the ponies of Equestria. Fortunately, though, we believe that we have finally found our purpose for this environmental hazard. We've designed a massive engine which is capable of taking arcane radiation and turning it into usable energy. Which sounds like a very, very good thing. Doggos? Actually, we already have cyber dogs, huh? Recon, don't mind if we do. I'll grab some of this, and we're done with that. Nice. 
Pony technology, we're not done with this, so more resource efficiency gain, don't mind if we do. And over here, let's grab some military hardware for robots that we'll not use. And then we're going to grab some monoplane fighters because we can. Now, are you guys all done and ready to go? Oh, we got Arbu done too. My goodness. The Loot Stable Tech HQ. Now that Stable Tech HQ is under our control, we can salvage the building and everything in it. An automated tour guide system is very fascinating and all, but its components could be put to better use elsewhere. We do have to wonder, though, why did the Steel Rangers leave this system intact? Eh, whatever. I'm not going to question it too much. Go and do that, and goodbye. Very nice, my friends. Well, this is going to be a massacre. Who even is Artabu? Feast free, huh? Well, we kind of like them. But they probably don't like us since they probably... They no, we probably want to kill them off, but whatever. Fortify the bridge. A simple bridge separates us from the Steel Rangers that occupy the south side of Philadelphia. Sooner or later, they'll likely end up in a conflict with these power-armored relics. It'd be best if we prepared ahead of time for that possibility. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we'll definitely prepare. Get some more recon. And we got a couple more days left. We're gonna, after this one, let's go to war. Cause we, yeah, I kinda wanna get these guys done, but we'll see what happens. This is so unfair for them. But I don't care. Okay, so how many do we kill off within like that 800 versus one? Earth Pony Mining is not bad. Rad removal spells, ooh, very nice. Well, they're gone now. Basic foundries. Now this is very nice. Fortify the bridge and then restore the power grid. Philadelphia's power grid has seen better days. End of the world, two centuries without maintenance, and an out-of-control parasite infestation that has all contributed to most of the city's power lines being destroyed. It would help our operations much more effectively or run them much more efficiently if we were made the effort to fix several lines and reconnect the power grid. Not bad. Is there really any more use or point of having an army? Not really. Mr. Handy, thank you. And you guys can go down there. Good luck with that. Wow. Yeah, these guys are really thick. 40 combat width. I didn't realize that 50... 25 battalions would equal up to 50. Or 40 combat width. So, we need a minus 0.4 like we do. Better doggos? Well, we're already making better dogs. So, we must as well get those guys, right? Who's a good boy? And then let's do Raider Ingenuity. Raiders aren't known for being the most intelligent bunch, but they can still be very creative. Every once in a while, this creativity leads them to be coming up with a truly ma amazing idea. It seems that this time they have struck again, as a group of Raiders within our ranks have managed to cobble together a makeshift armored vehicle mounted with an anti-tank rifle. With a few adjustments and some proper schematics, we believe we could begin to produce it in mass. Yeah, Raiders Empire. I mean, this is a very, very fast mod, just because there's probably not as much content as there will be in the future. Totally fine, totally fine, though. Because we got one, <clears throat> one single focus left after this. So we'll probably go ahead and go from this stuff and probably finish up Earth Pony Alchemy, which is not bad. Better trickle back and XP loss. How much experience is lost in a division when they take cows, cheese, and have to replace them? Proportion of losses in combat that can be saved and returned to the pony power pool. Very nice. And then we're going to do the end. We have done it. The Equestrian Heartland has been reunified, and a bright future awaits all of Pony Kind. And, yeah, we no longer have Red Eye here with us, which is disappointing. Which is very sad. Not, just, not disappointing, I guess, but just, just sad. And we got Scrap Trucks. Yes, please. Better dogs get even better doggos. Monoplane attackers get even better monoplane attackos. Basic foundries. Well, let's get some fabrication laboratories. Wow, we have 6,000 Pinkie Pie balloons in the reserve. Wow. Mr. Hansies. Impact resistant chassis. Slaves. We got 7,000 extra spare slaves. We're halfway done with that. Not bad. And you know what? I'm going to go to settlement protection. We're going to mass demobilize here. Non dangerous, no mutes allowed. Sure, why not? No mutes. Advanced research base. Nice. I think we were in wasteland. So we actually lost some political power. We got 10% more research speed, though. But I do want to see what this says. Let's see what it says. And we have done it. All of our sacrifices, all of our suffering, and all of our efforts have finally paid off. Equestria is more unified and developed than ever before, thanks to us. Yet, one of us stirs more than others in this in light of this accomplishment. 
Though his mind has been muddled and mixed with the others, Red Eye has still clung onto himself all this time. Just to see this moment, the final closing chapter to a dark and bloody era of Equestrian history, brought about by his own work and efforts. And what a glorious moment it is! The horrors of the Wasteland have been fought back, his little ponies are more unified than they've ever been in centuries, and the Equestria of old is finally being rebuilt. Though there still may be blood to shed and suffering to be had, the Wasteland has finally been tamed all thanks to him, even though now, in this moment of his pride and triumph, the others still pull and tug at him, even holding his small bit of independence has been a trial of willpower in the the time was very fast approaching where he would no longer be able to hold this autonomy. This is for the best, though. After all, he was nothing more than a relic of a soon-to-be bygone age. In those last moments, where his final, truly independent thoughts would be of a phoenix rising from the ashes. And now, we are one. And my friends, I believe that is every single focus that we can possibly do in my first campaign, in our first campaign, playing Bale Fire Blues. Well... Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. I'm going to continue playing some more Balefire Blues, and I'll see you in the next campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.